This is Star Wars, and this is IRL Star Wars in the Metaverse. IRM Star Wars. All you need to know is they're basically the same thing, okay? I spawned into this one room quite dramatically with the sole intention to spend one full month in here. Now, one day in the IRL Star Wars universe is 30 minutes, which means I'm spending about 15 hours trapped inside this headset. Something you need to know about me is I love Star Wars. In fact, I'm growing my hair out just like Anakin Skywalker to prove my loyalty to the light side. Only weird is named after orange juice joined the dark side. I'm so sorry, that was a horrible joke. Anyways, my goal is to somehow find Darth Vader, lure him so we can be by ourselves, ooh, so romantic, and politely force him back to the light side. No pun intended. Get it? Force him back. It sounded better in my head. I'm starting out day one in the dojo to prepare a bit before facing Vader, and as you can tell, I just plowed through the training. On day three, we officially begin our journey in space. The first NPC I encountered was this one robot, basically known as my guide. But I'm calling her Sadie. She low key's kinda hot, not gonna lie. That was also a really bad joke. Hey Sadie, just wanted to tell you that you ignite my lightsaber. Oh my gosh. How am I so bad with talking to girls? It blows my mind. Anyways, on day six, we landed on Mustafar. Day seven, we got our ship overtaken and captured. Then day eight, something crazy happened. I was just chilling in the prison waiting room when, yes, Darth Vader ominously appears out of the doorway then forced me to open up this little box thingy nothing of true importance then me being the super intelligent dude i am i broke sadie out of prison which is when we met this one guy he apparently is another npc which is why he is super wise like wiser than yoda himself day 10 i found a lightsaber and climbed some pipes with sadie then day 11 we spied on vader this is low-key the scariest thing i've ever done and then before i knew it i was on a hoverboardy looking thing on my way to team up with my enemy look that's vader on day 12 we were literally fighting side by side i don't know whether or not to be honored or petrified at the fact i'm important enough to keep alive like bro this is literally Vader teaching me how to use the Force. I would not say I'm proud of this moment, but before I knew it, we were in this underground temple place. I fought some super scary futuristic bats, but then I had a vision. A vision on how to expedite our plan to kill Vader. The thing I opened earlier for him, yeah, that was a map to this item called the Bright Star. Like, aren't all stars bright? Anyways, the vision was super long, so I'll just give you the spark note answer. Let's retrieve the Bright Star, otherwise the entire universe just crumbles up like a piece of paper. So no, there is no pressure whatsoever. On day 13, I had to throw rocks at this massive monster creature. Day 15, I found a new lightsaber, which was so dope. Oh, also that means we were at the halfway point of the challenge. The next few days went like this. I destroyed some droids, ended up finding the bright star, but what do you know, the wise NPC from earlier snatched it and gave it right to Vader. Like, bruh, I just spent the last week of my life trusting you, making my job way harder than it has to be. Day 18 and 19, I found myself using Yes, the force to move these crystal looking things into place, but all for good reason. You see, this allowed me to get to the top of this big rock and literally control an entire army. Look, that's me waving my sword directing these guys. Just like directing you guys. Yeah, you watching this video, tell me when am I war against Lego Star Wars and YouTube subscribers. I've almost beat the Star Wars game, so please help me end this real life galactic war between us. Now with thousands of people on my side, I found myself on a speed chase against a whole bunch of clone troopers. Luckily, I made it out alive, but now it was just me and Sadie against an entire clone trooper army. This was on day 20. I realized I needed to somehow use all the skills I learned throughout the last nine and a half hours of my life to defeat Vader. Once and for all. Day 22, I had to fight a ton more clone troopers. And I mean more clone troopers than right swipes my Tinder profile got last week. Bro, why am I still single? Day 24, I literally brought down an entire TIE fighter. Look at this guy. He knows he's about to get blown up and not in the right way. I'm supposed to stop that? Bruh. Day 27, I ended up finding Darth Vader, and now it was time for the coolest lightsaber duel out of the entirety of the Star Wars universe. I really had to dig deep, use my lightsaber skills, and well, not choke. Come on, bring it on. Oh. Is that It was a pretty even match. He did a few lightsaber shots, which is when Vader threw me across the map. He went in for the KO, and then this happened. He made it right where I wanted him, which is when this dude just magically appears out of nowhere. Wait, where did he come from? And it was all up to me to finish out what we started. 
Here goes nothing. Done it. I had saved the entire planet of Mustafar, turning it you extremely did. green, and then was reunited with Sadie. You didn't get killed! Again! Day 30, we found this crystal, plugged it into my lightsaber, and what do you know, there was an actual map to the galaxy. As Sadie and I set out on this new journey together, I realized I had merely stopped Vader's plan to destroy the planet, not his ultimate goal of spreading chaos throughout the galaxy. So as I prepared the ship to take us into hyperspace, I knew Vader was still out there, and had to be stopped. I might have just learned the optimal controls of this game, but I'll find you, Vader. Wherever you are in the galaxy, I can sense the fear, the anger, and the violence inside your head. Don't think this war is over, because I'm just now on the brink to saving you.